Here's the field. One, I'm Brooks Gold, owned by Stanley and Michelle Swisher of Humboldt. Stan Swisher will drive. He with the R.R. Donnelly Company of Mattoon, Illinois. Two is Rocket Scooter, owned by Margaret Decker of Atwater. William Ray Brown, U.S. Postal Service employee in St. Louis, will be in the bike. Three, Fox Valley Tyler, owned by Rose Bonomo and George Bonomo of Chicago. George Bonomo, highly successful business executive of Chicago. Four, Sporty Marcia, Margie with Marsha Combs of Charleston. Marsha Combs, the owner-driver, as well as trainer. Marsha, an attorney in Charleston, located on the square there. Also owns the title company in Charleston, Illinois. And five, Did You Know, owned by Gloria Cisna of Springfield. Rose Bonomo will be on the bike. Rose, housewife, last year's champion driver, also an accomplished pilot, will be the pilot in this one behind Did You Know. So those five amateur drivers. Gates rolling. Here they come. Did you know off the gate? They're off and pacing. Fox Valley Tyler and George Bonomo for the lead. Outside him, Sporty Margie, Marsha Combs, and now on the inside, sneaking up, there goes I'm Brooks Gold. Three wide as they drive to the turn. Dropped in third is Rocket Scooter on the outside. Sporty Margie didn't find room at the front, so she's dropped back. She'll be fourth on the rail, leaving uh, parked Fox Valley Tyler as they drive around the turn, led by I'm Brooks Gold. Stanley Swisher leads by a length and a half on the outside. Sporty Margie powers now toward the front for Marsha Combs as they reach the quarter mile mark. They're past that station in 29 and 3. They're on the back stretch. And now off stride on the outside is Sporty Margie. She'll trail as they drive down the backside to the uh, half mile mark. Actually off stride as they race down the backside was Fox Valley Tyler. Sporty Margie got shuffled in that exchange and she now again is rolling to the outside to the front and there she goes. She takes command before the half. Sporty Margie has rushed to the front for Marsha Combs. Still off stride as Fox Valley Tyler. He trails as they race now past the half mile mark on on the inside, second is I'm Brooks Gold. On the outside, racing third past that juncture is Did You Know. They ran the half in 59 and three. They're in the upper turn and Sporty Margie who uh, had trouble getting to the front but made it and now is drawing away, is headed toward three quarters with a commanding lead for Marsha Combs. She's on top by seven lengths. They've just reached the quarter. The lead widens. I'm Brooks Gold trying to keep up on the outside. Third is Did you know? Fourth on the inside is Rocket Scooter. And way back after break, Fox Valley Tyler off the three-quarter mile mark. Sporty Margie alone, 128-2, and she turns for home along with Marsha Combs, the attorney from Charleston, Illinois, and Marsha has the field well behind her as she's in the final eighth mile. Marsha has won four of the last five, about to make it five of six. The battle will be for second as Sporty Margie, the Sportsmaster four-year-old mare, and Marsha Combs scoot to the wire, again a winner, maybe a new lifetime record, and she is home in 157, two-fifths, and that does lower her lifetime mark by a tick. It appeared to be Did You Know Home second over Rocket Scooter, I'm Brooks Gold, then Fox Valley Tyler trailed. About to move into victory lane is Marsha Combs of Charleston, Illinois. Her husband Richard is waiting to greet her. Now with five wins in the last six races in the amateur series, Marsha is the current point leader with a few starts to go, looking to be the 1998 champion and hoping to be. The Combs have raced horses for a number of years. Marsha and her husband, Richard, who recently sold his business, have trained at the Coles County Fairgrounds at Charleston. Marsha then began pursuing a career as an attorney. Went to law school, the University of Illinois, I believe. Picked up her degree, now has a very successful practice in Charleston on the square. As we mentioned, also owns the title company, Jim Reynolds formerly of Charleston. The, whoops. Man, Marsha, you win a race and you gotta go through that. What's this coming to, huh? Jim and the Reynolds, Jim Reynolds and his family and the Combs are longtime friends based on their Charleston backgrounds. And there she is, Marsha Combs, on top of the driver standings in the amateur series. Congratulations, Marsha.